Hi guys, welcome to part 5 of my 2023 Christmas Village full tutorial series. I know that the ideal way of proceeding would be to show you in each part every week something new, to add something new each time I upload a new video. Unfortunately, it's not possible. Useful if you wanted to complete the entire project in, let's say, two months. Not that good for the point of view. Some tasks need to be open and uh, closed quickly. Some others need to be developed all along a certain amount of time. Others need to be improved if possible, like the fountain there. I haven't decided to remove the font and then close the hole. It's simply drying because I painted it. But it was missing something. When I watched it from that point of view, sorry guys, I will go the other way. When I, I'm saying, when I was watching the fountain from this point of view, guys, right there as a camera would be something was missing. I wasn't satisfied with the point of view. That's why I wanted to improve, if possible, the geometry, the surrounding of the fountain. Because this would be the point that will attract everyone towards what will happen in the park there, in the carnival slash circus uh, park. Then I absolutely need to add all the buildings, all the Viking buildings in front there, because I need to check if I have space for everyone. So I will add all of them, yes, big, big surprise, plus some ships, at least two ships I will add, yes, two ships. And then I will start to make some adjustments for the pier, for the dock there, because I need it. So I will add many things. I will add many things. And also something new to the park, guys. But the important thing is to check if the two more squared buildings fit in there. The other three octagonal buildings also fit in there and then the pier and everything else. So a big <laughs> leap for me today showing you a minimum of new things but uh, trying to improve. Pardon me if I'm not adding an entire new level to the layout today.
Final recap of part 5 of the 2023 series and I will start from there, the Viking fishing village with all the buildings placed, not correctly but almost there. The yellow one, the octagonal one, yellow one was there, now it is there. So the red one, you have already seen it, purple or lila and then I added the green one, the octagonal red one, this lila pink octagonal, the yellow one there and finally the octagonal there guys, okay, the octagonal. Let me do a <coughs> closer uh, pan towards the buildings. The green one, guys, uh, one level, two level, three level, four levels, okay? One, two, three, four levels. The red one is a single level, no other than some little windows on the left and the sides and an entry there. I've managed to get this because it is modulable, the platform are modulables, <clears throat> can be modulated. I don't know right now, sorry guys. Uh, I will add some stairs there and it can give access to other levels. It was a little too low there, the red one, simply on the level of the other buildings, but there it has its importance. <clears throat> the point of view, guys, I had very, 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 very long period to try to avoid awful a point of view. Here, the purple one, the lila one, is the one without doors, guys. Imagine there some little music, some little uh, band playing and through the patio, through the building, you can get a look to what is behind, guys. By the way, I added this little guy there, okay, maybe I will go this way and show you. <coughs> it is the wreck, it is the ruin of a giant Viking statue, destroyed, and there you still have a little face with a red eye. I don't know if you can see, but it has a red eye there, okay? And some symbols. These will be half submerged by water, but the, <coughs> the head will come along. From the ground, maybe I will go that way. You get this impression there, guys, okay? And I will manage to get everything in place. The yellow one, first level, second level, third level, three levels. Here are the chimneys on the right, right, left. This is specular, okay guys? Yeah, specular buildings. I will get to the park <laughs> by last. The big, the big ship, guys. It is, I don't know, it is uh, ready to take away, ready to, to go away with all the sails uh, um, having a wind into them, pushing the boat. It is a brig, guys. It is a brig, very common uh, for that era. It is way bigger than the Golden Eagle there, because this is the real scale of the boat. That boat there is too little, too small in, if you compare it to the scale of the buildings etc. The buildings are in scale with Lemax, the ship is in scale with Lemax. Big, giant, but it is the only way I had to find an, maybe another ship here. But guys, it's a pity. I've modeled and 3D printed and painted this wreck here. It is an old galleon from the time where the Vikings there were fighting 
people from yes mm, i know it's not like having a sorry i was saying yeah, i know that it's not uh, like having a real viking ship but galleons were from an era 600 1700 or 1600 before this era you before the 19th 1980 something to 1910 etc uh, and this is a very pity it's a beautiful wreck it took me a week to model it but it's too big it's in scale brig were um, smaller than galleons this is the front part of a galleon one, two, three, four math galleon. Uh, it took uh, a cannonball in the in the side, and uh, it's the end of the galleon. Right now, I don't know where to pl to place it. Okay, maybe there, but it will ruin everything. Maybe you can suggest a position, guys, because I love that wreck, but it's not suited right now for the space I have. I could have placed it on the beach there like that but i wanted to add something uh, on that beach so no guys and here it will ruin everything because this maybe we need to dig a little bit in the styrofoam and get it a little lower but right now i don't know where to place it so forgive the galleon for the moment okay guys And the last octagonal building, one, two, three level, is the tallest one. And as I told you, I will use the tall, the tallest, the taller building to do some background. So the ferry wheel there was here. I will manage to get it some in some other places because uh, I need that space for the Viking. A fishing village uh, connection here I still miss some connections here I will me I will have other connection there the platform I don't have them anymore but I only need to print them here I will add some more platform here here will be the main focus of the village the villagers having fun and uh, other things there some of them here and then the connection to get there or maybe just here or maybe just here and then this is part of the um of the docks of the pier i will need to add some some props here and there and the stairs to get access to the the mainland and all the buildings have been prepared for uh, the lights so every single one of the building has its proper wires there it's a pity not to be able to use more of these uh, platforms there rock platforms um, very beautiful at least in my opinion but um, I <coughs> originally each <coughs> I, uh, each uh, single octagonal building was intended to have his main platform rock platform but I had to manage the village in some other ways so here uh, I uh, tried to manage having square red uh, uh, octagonal square red octagonal square red and then another square because it's the only way uh, to put the tallest building there but octagonal here in the corner give a good point of view at least i think and octagonal buildings can be placed around so for the corners they are optimal for the corners guys the head is one of the surprises guys still need to work on the sea etc but guys there let me go a little back the new 
fountain guys not the new the same fountain i managed to add the water and now it is working i had to modify it to improve it because now it's a real fountain and i like it <laughs> i like it like that with the flowers let me get a closer look to you and even from the distance and that little thing on the right and those two little things there may give you a clue of what is this part it's obvious now, now guys but but if you are thinking oh it will add at 85 centimeters in the corner there a pyramid no guys absolutely not you are far 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 from what i want for <clears throat> this park here the stage is painted like that and let me approach a little bit the park a little more the park i will get a closer look for you to the sphinx guys okay the sphinx and the two obelisk guys they are not the same guys i modeled them differently with some writings on them this one and then the one there oops the palm has fallen still need to make some assessments but it's like that the water is going as it should be with the water having access to this level here and no more because i wanted some safe zone and some flowers i know they are not exactly poinsettias but it's 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 quite similar to some poinsettias the only flowers that can survive in plain winter at least in the northern hemisphere and the fountain is working uh, it's a mess working with this lead this sand here uh, obviously i uh, <clears throat> i should have used the some earth some uh, something like uh, uh, flower uh, for flowers okay but instead i've used the some um black sand it's the same brand as the sand i use it for the beaches they are aquarium sands this is for the um, lower uh, section of uh, an aquarium the the bottom of the aquarium it, uh, it can filter but it is the same uh, sand it's a mess working with it and you can see that i have still a mess on the corners but i needed to wait for the sand to to dry a little more two or more days before cleaning everything around but now i have a distance for the people they're getting not directly into the water they can jump especially little children they will not jump into the water but you have some sort of a border there i have modeled that very quickly um, tuesday last tuesday yes tuesday night and some ferns there uh, not exactly uh, symmetrical all around i know but it's man-made so i want it like that one two three four five six seven eight two four six eight ferns there uh, they are different uh, one from the other also the the flowers here they are all different these are two flowers two flowers one and one model it differently i was saying very difficult to model poinsettias because they have superposed uh, um, leaves etc petals etc mm, very difficult to model i choose to go there uh, water there uh, maybe it has a little problem okay guys sorry this is the good way of working for the pump and for the fountain okay guys and the stage there from the this side here with all the uh figurines still to be put on top of it with all the performance from the carnival or the circus but now it is painted even the decks there the deck there it is the stage it is three shades of 
um, <clears throat> brown okay the sphinx the two obliques and here not a pyramid guys but here some other stage not a pyramid see you for the outro guys this is what i call an improving task the fountain as i left it in part four was a little deceiving for me i think also for you not operational with no water a little too naked all around it with the possibility of people and especially children to jump into the water. Now it's working I, with simply adding some boundaries around it, it changed its aspect. Uh, the park, the park guys, the Sphinx, the two obelisks, I swear I will not place a pyramid there, even if this triangle and those three props here let you think that I will add a pyramid it's not a pyramid it's worst 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 than a pyramid guys all the fun guys all the fun will be happening there in the main square of the Viking fishing village and also in some other parts I have left some rounded uh, junction there Everything is getting towards something decent, guys, even from the other camera, I hope. And the fountain with these three little uh, flow getting into the water. And you are seeing it very well from that angle. What can I say? The ships there, please suggest me what to do with this wreck. I really like it's very very interesting guys it's not that awful okay uh, somehow i will have wasted a week of modeling uh, a week seven nights of modeling guys but here they are i will add uh, some other things maybe another brig here and there the head let me know what you think this is a surprise one of the many more surprises i will give you during this season this if you make the proportion should have been this big guys a giant giant statue viking statue and now it is a ruin but i love it because it remember when these people here that people there were fighting were uh, fighting people were uh, very 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 violent people okay yes 600 years in the past 700 years in the past but guys this is what i wanted with my viking fishing village no more buildings guys for the fishing village many other things little things some props here and there but all the buildings are now here multicolored viking fishing village uh, i don't know what else to say please don't forget to, to subscribe comment and give a big thumbs up thank you for watching Thank you for bearing my once again impossible English and I'll see you for part six. Maybe not, maybe yes, but only if you wish. Bye guys.